Hey everybody, this is Brad from Board Game Geek, and I'm here with a late preview for Scythe, the digital edition. This is available right now on Steam and Early Access, and it's a pretty faithful adaptation of the tabletop game in digital format, so let's take a quick look. In this Early Access version, you can play against AI or Pass and Play. The AI comes in two varieties of difficulty, and uh, I only tried the first one. I'm a pretty new player to the game. and. You also have a few different options you can select, and you can either choose your faction or have one randomly given to you. So there really are a few options here to uh, experience Scythe in this digital version. If you haven't played Scythe before, it's a sort of strategy game set in a pseudo a period between World War I and World War II, where uh, technology is discovered that allows the military powers of the region to build mech units. And so you're controlling different locations and trying to earn victory point stars to be the first player to get six of those stars. There's a lot of a variety of ways to do that and we won't go into all of it here, but uh, the digital version has a great tutorial that walks you through all of these different steps. And this includes game resources, money, new mechs, all different elements to increase your power. The game features combat. As you can see here, you can use uh, different uh, abilities or and ammo to increase your ability in combat and your goal here is to try to uh, defeat your opponent and this ends disputes over different regions and allows you to either seize control or maintain control of, a re of an area. Scythe also features a sort of light choose your own adventure type mechanics where you are uh, seeing these event cards and you can make choices which give you different types of outcomes. So you actually get to choose the outcomes here, you know what they are, but there's definitely sort of a storytelling component to it where you're having these little encounters that give you bonuses. When we first heard about the digital version of Scythe, it was being billed as sort of a full 3D game with uh, complex models, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And while this game maintains those models, it definitely has opted to feel more like the tabletop version. So you are operating in this 3D space, however, uh, a lot of the action is played the way you would think it would be played on the tabletop. Scythe is one of those games that is a lot of fun uh, and really enjoyable. Definitely has a lot of interesting mechanics that layer on top of each other, but it's definitely a hard one to get a game night. If people haven't played before, it's hard to say, hey, let's take an hour learning this game and then two to three hours playing it. It can be pretty burdensome that way. Players can obviously speed that up as they get more experience, but what's great about this digital version is if you haven't played before, you really can learn quickly and play some quick games this way so you can uh, have that full experience and be ready to play on the tabletop. The game is currently in early access, so if you do want to hop on board, again, it really just comes down to your desire to be part of the game making process in a way and give your feedback. Uh, but it's definitely a fun game, and if you've been itching to play a side, this is a great digital way to try it. So. Be sure to check out the early access version on Steam.